Good evening, everyone. Welcome to this wondrous gathering of community leaders, change makers, and innovators. I'm so excited to embark on this journey with you guys. Um, as you already know, my name is Kansas, and I'm incredibly honored to be one of your guides as we learn together in this adventure. Uh, so we're going to do a quick uh, we're just going to talk about the objective for today. We'll do a quick recap of, of the overall course objectives, and then we'll get right into it. So in the next few minutes, we'll be diving into a powerful mission to understand the bigger picture of the collective. So you might be wondering, what exactly is the Battery Collective and how can it transfer from our community? Well, it's much more than storing energy. It's about building relationships and bonds that nurture resilience, learning what it means to work to make decisions collectively, and creating a culture around a force towards a just transition. So imagine a future where members of our community has a network of care they can rely on. One where they know that they belong to a group that cares and will support them, a group where they'll become together to tackle emergencies head on, and where they can build and thrive a network that uplifts and supports everyone. Today, we'll be exploring the battery collectively, how it fits into your community. We'll discuss and examine emergency scenarios, come up with creative solutions for diverse problems, and reflect on how to promote inclusive culture that nurtures community's goals. So the most exciting part is you, the center of this transformation. Each of you brings a unique insights, experiences, and passions that will shape your community's collective success. So let's charge up our enthusiasm and unlock our imaginations and em embrace the opportunity to create a resilient and empowered community. I hope you're all ready to take that adventure with me. And now I'm gonna pass it over to Yasir to uh, just talk about the brief uh, goals of this course. Welcome everyone. Um, yeah, Yasir with People Power. And we're gonna hop into the overall course objectives. So we have one, we reviewed this last week. So we're just gonna recap real quick. Participants are activated to set up community backup power supplies that participants are able to organize and host community meetings that participants are able to make the connection on how to use these tools to organize more shared resources. A lot of, a lot of things come up uh, when we're talking about community. Um, probably the first thing that comes up is uh, what is a community? Um, and like, what's, why is there a need to organize? Um, we're in a, a system and some of us can see it more clearly than others, but uh, we're in a system that's, that's really designed by everything that we interact with in the majority of our society to disorganize us, to keep people separate. Really what that does is it, it breaks the connection that people have. Um, that connection that people have is ultimately community. So one of our objectives here is to try to help under individuals and ourselves to reimagine what community looks like and to reconnect what, what we used to all have. Um, everyone, I do believe that in our spirit, we all have a, a desire, we have a draw. Um, some may say it's magnetic, some may say it's karmatic, some may say that it's spiritual, but we have a draw to community. We have a draw and a connection to other individuals, allowing individuals to get back to and to reestablish those connections of community. So one of the things that uh, as we're developing the uh, battery co-op, um, that comes up is community and this, everything is cent centered around community and try to understand why um, there is a need in the community and trying to deconstruct what that need is. So that's a, a bigger picture. We're gonna get into that later on in our coursework. Um, right now, we're just gonna focus on making sure everyone understands that that disconnect, we're trying to help everyone and ourselves to try to reconnect that disconnect. Um, through that, we're hoping that individuals will be able to see community on a different level um, and decide and make the choice and decision to interact with community on a different level. Um, and when I say community, it's it's that person that looks like us, you know, that's um, with us, that looks like us. It may be a person across the street. It may be your next door neighbor. Um, there's a lot of different definitions of community and how you guys choose to use um, 
one of the tools that we're going to present here, which is the battery, is up to you. How you define your community is also up to you. Um, just understand that there are some strings that we don't see that go on in the background that is designed to, uh, to disorganize people and to break that community. Again, just being able to see the, the whole objective and to be able to hone in on that and to, to see that um, the battery is actually just one resource. We're talking about more than just the battery here. Um, so hopefully we can draw those lines and today's exercise will, um, if it works out well, help us to draw those lines.